Hey guys, Colin here from CH Gadgets, and what we have here is the Empal H17 Active Noise Cancelling Bluetooth Headphone. And the question that I have is, why should you buy this with all the other options that are out there? Let's check it out. By the way, if this is your first time here and you love tech and gadgets just like I do, and you want to see all the cool new tech that I get to test and play with every week, then start now by clicking that subscribe button tapping on that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos when they drop. All right, let's go in. So to be completely honest, I don't know much about these headphones. Basically, I don't know none of the specs or anything. What I do know is it probably costs about $46.99, which is about 47 bucks. We're gonna find out what kind of active noise canceling and audio quality do you get for 49, 46, 47 bucks. Let's go. Now, right there on top, you present it with micro USB charging cable and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And inside, you got an M pouch. It's a pouch that it comes in. There you go. All right, let's get inside. Let's see. Oh man, these things are really light. These are like toyishly light. If you didn't know that these were a pair of active noise canceling Bluetooth headphones, you'd think they're a toy to how light they are. These are seriously light, really, really light. All right, let's do a really quick tour before we put them on. So there you got your ANC button right here. Got your 3.5 millimeter audio jack port. Right here you got your micro USB charging port. And on that side, you got your multifunction button with your volume rocker, your volume skip and play track, and also your volume rock inside. Do a really quick squish test. Feels good. Nice and padded on the inside, which is really good. Should be a little bit more comfy. And this is what it looks like. When it's on your head. There you go. There you go. All right, it's not too tight. It's definitely not too tight. You got a lot of, because of how squishy the, uh, and comfy these ear pads are, it actually have a lot of clearance for my my glasses right here so right where the temple is at it's not pressing down too hard which is good so this is nice and thick and fluffy on the top here so it's actually giving me a lot of crown comfort as well which is good so yeah oh man so and it's um yep so it's uh as you can see it's pretty, it's pretty durable, which is good. All right, so we got the durability test in and it actually passed with good numbers and it actually passed the comfort test as well. It's really light and it actually looks pretty nice, pretty clean. Can't fault it on the look because it actually looks really nice and clean. And you get this nice little pouch, as I said. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pair it up with my Google Pixel 5, as usual. Empal H17, paired. Got 90% battery. So, I'm gonna take it to my slew of regular battery of tests and um, I'm gonna let you know what's up. So, let's go do that. All right, so, I uh, spent a little time with these. And what I've discovered, I've discovered that this is kind of like, it is um, blessed or cursed with some of the same characteristics of most of Empire's headphones, from what I've noticed. And that the thing is, they do sound good, but there's always this, almost like a limiter on the EQ when you're listening to it. But as soon as you flip on that A and C, it's almost like you boost the EQ up to 50. And that is what these are. So 
it sounds good almost in regular mode but you can hear you can hear that there's not enough volume on it and also the, the mid-range and the treble is kind of like pulled back a bit at times it may sound almost muffled with some songs it's not muffled it's just how it is but as soon as you flip on that a and c and these come alive these turn into a completely different pair of headphones. So you could say you have one earphone that have two different personalities. One personality where it's just, it's just an introvert. <laughs> You know, always in the back, just chilling, just um, just taking it easy. And then as soon as you flip on that A and C, you know, it, it turned into that party animal. And that's what these are. These are some party animals, but only when you flip that A and C on, you get that that EQ boost. So yes, it got some when the AC when the A and C is on, you got some nice bass frequencies, really, really, really punchy. I like that. The eyes. That high frequency, pff, got a nice boost in that high frequency immediately as you flip it on. And the mid range as usual with these are usually always kind of pushed back because these are always tuned to have that high frequency and the bass always pumping all that energy. The mid range is always kind of like staying in the back. Those are these. So basically what I'm saying is it's a, it's a V curve with these just as most of Empire's headphones. So, does it sound good? Yes. Does the ANC work? Yes, but it's not going to compete with some of the more higher end ANCs. But it does do a good job. It helps out. But the most thing that I see it helping out with is the sound. It doesn't improve the sound quality, but it increases the volume and the EQ and the overall bass response. You do lose some of the bass when you flip it on. But you had so much before, you didn't even notice the difference. But you do gain a lot of high frequencies and you do gain a lot of that upper mid range that was always, you know, in the back. But you do get some more of that. Um, but you get a lot of highs with this thing. So it sounds good. I didn't get to test out, you know, the microphone making calls. But I'm assuming it's the same, just like all of Empower headphones. It's okay, but not great. Please correct me if I'm wrong, if you have used these before. But so far, listening to music, they're extremely comfortable. They sound good. These are little party cans. If you want a pair of party cans, you can get these hemp piles. I definitely recommend them for, for 46 bucks, I said. Yeah, almost 47 bucks, so almost 50 bucks. It's a good price. It's definitely a good price. If you could get it for less, then you can definitely pick it up. But for 46 bucks, definitely recommend these. They can uh, they can fold and tuck and get really small. You put them in the pouch. Yeah, so MPOW H17. So um, I, I recommend them. They, they're good. They're high. They're high. They sound good. I like them. They, they are just a little party cans. I definitely, I'm gonna talk to you in my next video, but if you want one of these for yourself, check the link down in the description, but I'll talk to you in my next video. If you feel like being awesome, give that subscribe button a hard smash, and also give that like button a really even harder smash, you know, so I can know that I should make more of these videos where I test them. So, thank you for watching. Talk to you in my next video, peace.